Hi everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we'll take a look at the brand new Galaxy Z Fold 6, but more specifically, the updated and reinvented Smart Select. Now, Smart Select is something that I've used on all of my Samsung phones. Sometimes I've done it every day, every other day. Actually, I tried looking over here in all of the different tabs or panels for my taskbar. I was not able to find Smart Select, and that's because it is this brand new reinvented icon right there. So they pretty much merged Smart Select and Galaxy AI just to do so much more. So for example, let's say we take a look at Google and let's say that there's an image here that I wanted to crop off and send either to save it to my phone or just immediately share it to somebody else without it having to be saved to my phone. Because normally if you're trying to take this picture right here, you would take a screenshot, edit it, and then you have to send it off. And now you did all the editing. You also have a phone or a photo saved to your device you might not want. So what you're able to do here is you can just tap right there. And this is where you can tap on any of these images right there. It puts a perfect rectangle around the image. You'd also be able to just draw across the whole thing and it can be, you know, uh, malleable. You can move it around any size you want to, but tapping makes it simple. You'd also be able to tap on any text that's on the screen. And anytime you do that, then you can add it into a note. You can copy it. You'd also be able to share it immediately uh, or you'd be able to also extract the text. Now for the images, you're able to add this to a note. You can even sketch on the image. You're also able to copy it, share it, or download it to your phone. Or if there was text in here, which there is a little bit, you can also extract text from that. So it makes it very simple. You can just immediately hit share and you don't even have to save this thing to your phone. It just gets to wherever you want it to go. This little sketch to image that's right there. So if I tap on that, what I'm able to do is let's say that I put in like a little smiley face or something. So I'm taking that image and then adding in my own little drawing, but it's able to make my drawing so much better. It's almost as if I spent a bunch of time just putting in and trying to add in, you know, whatever they are doing with this smiley face. So this is actually really fun. And that little draw to sketch thing or sketch to draw is one of those things you can do in your gallery as well. So this was just trying to show off what you were able to do now with this little icon here. So you can either just draw over it or you can tap, you can make these bigger, smaller, and then you have all those options right here that we just got done talking about. Now there is another thing up here that I do kind of want to merge with it. And this little uh, icon right there, this is where you're able to draw something and then it's able to put an image to your drawing. So let's say, you know, I want to draw like a vehicle and I am not good drawer at all, but the cool thing is that this is going to come out and, and give me something just so much better. Uh, let's just see what this does right here. And you hit on generate and pretty much it was able to put a car right there and made it looking kind of like watercolor. And again, it just looks better than what I drew. At least I could even put a little bit more effort into the drawing, but you know, this is a quick little video, but this is all of the different outcomes that it came with. And then this is where you can download it. You'd also be able to share this, this one right here, you're able to do a little bit of transparency stuff with it. You do have more, so you can minimize it, copy it. And also you have settings. And then this one's just kind of like a restart button or start over. So this is what is now a part of your taskbar. You're just able to draw anything and it's going to come up with something using generative AI. And that right there is the updated generative AI smart select that is just so much smarter than before. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did give it a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.